Hello all and welcome to my channel. My name is Nelly and on this channel we do a lot of creative stuff from sewing to drawing and everything in between. In today's video I'm making an undersuit for my Sun Rosal cosplay which is a bounty hunter character from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Yep, this one. It's quite a challenging one and yeah I need a lot of breaks while so working on this but I hope this video series will help me to push through and without further ado let's get started. For this costume I had to do a lot of research. Of course I had a look at the bible of the Star Wars costumes, Dressing a Galaxy, but I checked out I think everything that you can find about this costume online. For the trousers of my suit I was looking for a simple legging pattern and I found one in a sewing magazine called Onion, which I had for many years and it gave me a good starting point. After tracing the pattern I did my alterations like doing the saddle seam on the front and back and I made my first mock up from the very stretchy fabric which was not the best choice but it gave me the first information that I needed to go on. The first mock up was too loose, too long and the seams were not correct so I adjusted my patterns and did a second mock up. For my second mock-up I used a more suitable fabric that was more neoprene-like and more like my actual fashion fabric and it has almost the same amount of stretch as my fashion fabric. I used Zera Flex Thread by Metla which is a little bit stretchy so my seams can be sewn in a straight stitch but have a little bit of stretch to them. Here I'm marking the seam allowance on the saddle seams so that I can find the exact point where I have to pivot when I'm sewing. I did a stay stitch on these corners, so first of all it's marked once again, but also prevents fraying on the point. Here we are, stay stitch is done and now I'm cut into this corner. This way the seam allowance can be turned around the corner, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this way is it lays flat after sewing and makes a very sharp and nice corner point. And here's a closer look at my mock-up fabric. I actually had to redo the saddle seam again, but then I was ready to cut my fashion fabric. You can see some test seams I did with the thread and decided which color I wanted to use. I had this fabric lying around for two years at this point and it was quite scary to cut into it but uh, I eventually did it. Here I did my stay stitching again.
I cut off this bit of the seam allowance in the corner so that everything can lay nice and flat. By the way, I did not press directly on this fabric because neoprene doesn't like it. I used parchment paper to press any seams and it worked just fine. Here we go, nice and finished bubble seams. This fabric is quite thick and bulky, so I graded the seams. This means that you cut the innermost seam allowances shorter than the outer ones, so it reduces the bulk on the seams. Now it was time to put the whole thing together. I stitched the outer seam of the leg first so I could do the bubble seams while it's still flat and after that I put together the inner seam. And here you can see the finished pair of trousers, which turned out quite nice. I added a waistband later, but I did not film this. No rest for a bounty hunter, so let's start the top right away. I used a simple long sleeve shirt pattern for this and made a mock-up. So here I'm cutting it from the fashion fabric. The shirt was pretty straightforward. I did not finish any seams on the suit, so this was done very quickly. The shirt has also the bubble seams on the sleeve, so that's what I'm putting together here. I added some jersey to the belly area so that I can tuck it in into my trousers and that it's nice under the leather vest. And this finishes up my suit. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If you want to see more of my journey on this costume, please like and subscribe. Until then, see ya!